I'm Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. We're into fall 2017 here. Wanted to let people know that uh, if you've been reading the new newspapers or listening to the news, you'll know that the detached market in Vancouver, we're talking Vancouver here, but you can address this in Richmond and, and, uh, and Burnaby and other areas as well. But let's talk Vancouver here for now. Uh, the detached market has slowed dramatically. Um, as a matter of fact, I've talked a little bit about it earlier this year saying that, you know, the official numbers from the real estate board show that the detached market is in a balanced market. But I can tell you that uh, the higher end luxury uh, detached market, so over $2.53 million, which in some areas isn't luxury at all on the west side of Vancouver, that has fallen into a buyer's market. That did this past summer. Uh, the real estate board just hasn't admitted to it yet, which isn't surprising if you go back to the blogs I was doing in late 2012, 2013. I told people that the condo market was in a buyer's market a full three months before the real estate board came around to saying that we were in a buyer's market. But the point I want to make here is that for the first time in a long, long time, the detached market represents a, has a pretty darn good buying opportunity right now. And uh, depending on your financial situation and what you can qualify for, um, if you can, can get into the 1.35, 1 1.4, price range, there is some tremendous values right now in East Vancouver. And I know because I've getting ready to list some and I've just had some listings as well. So, you know, give me an example here. Um, you know, right now in Vancouver, uh, and I'm getting ready to list a house here pretty soon on a 33 by 122 lot. Uh, so standard Vancouver lot, pretty decent uh, homes you can buy now that are between 2,000 and 22, 23, 2,400 square feet. Many of them with mortgage helpers downstairs, so a self-contained uh, suite downstairs. Uh, a lot of those homes are now priced in the high 1.3s to mid 1.4s. Now, 15 months ago or even 18 months ago, uh, those homes were selling, uh, were selling at about $200,000 to $250,000 more than that. Right now, these homes that are listing in the 1350, 1.4 range are actually uh, being listed at just under tax assessed value. Now that represents, in my opinion, a, a pretty darn good buying opportunity here. Will the prices continue to kind of tread lower? They're kind of gradually treading lower right now or at least staying flat, maybe. But right now you can go in on one of these homes that's listed at 1.4 and put in an offer. Uh, not many are being sold for multiple offers. Some are, depending on where they're priced, but for the most part, you can throw an offer in under asking price and negotiate it, which is awfully nice to be able to do and is the polar opposite of what the condo market is doing right now. So, you know, if someone as well was looking for an investment in real estate uh, and you're looking to buy a one bedroom bedroom condo. You know, my advice might be to pool together with another uh, uh, investor, a, a partner, uh, a friend, a family member. Make sure that you get a, a co-ownership agreement uh, uh, put together, which I talk about in my book, and maybe start looking at detached properties. In my opinion, you are going to do far better with these. Now, if instead of buying a $650,000 one bedroom, which you're going to be able to rent for $2,100 or $2,200 a month, you're paying absolute top dollar for that one bedroom condo. Why not get two of you together, a partner, and buy a $1.4 million detached home? Now this would be a 22, 2300 square foot home with two uh, investment units. You'd have a one bedroom suite down, a one bedroom, one bath, and a three bedroom, one bath up. Um, you know, you could probably generate about $4,000 a month from this house, maybe a bit more. But the big thing is, is that you're buying a detached house here. You're buying dirt, a 33 by 120 lot that's $250,000 off from its highs 18 months ago. And uh, that is money in the bank, in my opinion. Absolute money in the bank buying a detached home. Now, I look too, you know, let's talk about East Vancouver. You know, I've seen stuff and I've blogged about it in the past, new construction in Mount Pleasant. There continues to be one over by the Kingsgate Mall over on Broadway. Uh, one bedroom, one bath, one parking, just over 600 square feet for $780,000 plus GST. 
So you're looking at over $800,000 for that unit on, King, on Broadway near Kingsway. I mean, you got to be out of your mind, to be honest, to be investing in a unit like that at that price. You know, although I will throw out my caveat here, even if you pay $800,000 for a one bedroom on Broadway and Kingsway, and rent it out for 20 years or 25 years and keep it, you'll probably still do quite well on it. You will. But there are so many better opportunities that just blow that deal out of the water that are out there. And if you can have the wherewithal and can put together the funds and get qualified, maybe go in with a partner, pool your money together and buy a detached home in East Van. Uh, you've got two rental units there. You've got a 33 by, uh, by 122 lot. Many of these properties, as I say, are pretty much livable right now, but if you put 20 or 30,000 into them, which you might need to do with some of them, just to get them up to a decent rental quality, you don't want to do too much to them. Keep it for 10, 12, 13 years. The next cycle will hit when these detached homes, it, it's only a matter of time. They, real estate goes in cycles. The market for detached homes might continue to slowly go into a descent here for another year or two or tread water. But believe me, in 10 years from now, the market uh, will be back off to the races. That $1.4 million you paid 10 years from now is gonna look like a bargain. You're also gonna have rezoning, uh, all kinds of nice things that are gonna happen to you over the next 10 or 15 years. Developers are gonna be looking to tear these older houses down and build newer newer homes that take advantage of the floor space ratio much better than what the original house does. But who knows what's gonna happen with rezoning in some of these neighborhoods to multifamily and all kinds of nice things. So keep an eye on that. It, it is a good time right now to be moving up. If you're living in a maybe a two bedroom, two bath condo in Yale Town that's now worth 1.1 or 1.2 or 1.3, hey, my advice would be to sell the condo at peak price and move up to a detached house in East Van. It's not going to be your dream home. $1.4 million, it's going to be a built in the 1940s to early 1950s, 21, 22, 2300 square feet. But it's going to be on a standard lot for forty or $50,000. You can upgrade the kitchen cabinets, put some new appliances in, clean up the flooring, etc., paint it and it would make a fantastic holding property for the next five to 10 years. Then build your dream home on it if you want later on, or sell it to a builder at a nice profit, or buy it as an investment property. But it's a fantastic window right now to move up. Because I blogged about it before, it's kind of like a ma it's magnet real estate right now. <laughs> it really is. All the buyers right now are concentrated in on the one bedroom market or the one in dens. In, in Vancouver, that stuff priced under 750 or 800. In that price range, there's five, six, seven buyers for every seller. Prices are at all time highs, you're in bidding wars, and you're having to offer over asking. Everyone's magnetized to those units. If you get up into the condo market, the larger condos that are priced in the one, two, one, three, one, four, way less competition. As a matter of fact, you can probably put an offer in and negotiate it and you're getting far more value once you get into that one, two, one, three, one, four on condos. But the real magic t happening right now is on the detached. Homes that were selling at one, six are now asking one, four, they're priced below tax assessed and you don't have to get into a bidding war. You can negotiate a price. There just isn't that many buyers right now in that detached market, you, but that's what you want to do. You want to be zigging when everyone else is zagging. So keep in mind, I'll do some more posts on this. Um, you know, I might even, I don't do it often, but I might even do a post on, on some of the listings I've got coming out because I do have some detached stuff in East Van I'm going to be listing soon that are going to make good uh, properties for people to move up into or great holding properties for investors. You might not be able to pull it off on your own, but if you've got you and a buddy that are both looking to buy a one bedroom unit in Vancouver, I'd pool your resources together and buy a detached house right now. You will do far better on appreciation and your cap rate will be better too. So I'll do some more blogs on this uh, over the fall and winter as well, but keep, keep your eyes on detached uh, for the first time in a long time. The detached market represents pretty good value and is well off its highs. It's the polar opposite of what's been going on in the condo market, which is multiple offers and at 
all-time record highs. I'm Owen Bigline. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.